guys, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom, and I am here with another Plan With Me video. Uh, today we are going to be in my classic happy planner for February 12th through the 8th. Um, so this is exciting because we have Valentine's Day this week and it seems like this is going to be a fairly busy week going on for me. So should be really fun to start getting some stuff laid down. Um, now what I'm going to do is I am going to be putting down some washi. I do have the Recollection Seasonal Box, but I don't think I'm going to be using that. In case you're not familiar with what comes in the seasonal recollections box, these are all Valentine's. There we go, Valentine's y. Um, but I just, I'm not really feeling the color palette this year. I used it very heavily last year. So instead, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using these two rolls of washi plus some um, stickers from my Mambi sticker books. So I'm going to go ahead and use some whiteout to get rid of these heavy black bars for the headers and then also to just white out the bottom and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so while I was off camera, I did white out the headers and then I laid down the two rolls of washi tape that I was talking about. So this pink roses came from a value recollections tube. And then this one, if you are familiar with my channel, you know this is like my favorite. Um, it is from Pretty Cute Planner. It is gold foiled florals. And I do have a coupon code for her. It's Brittany20. That gives you 20% off your order. So I laid, I went like alternate, alternatively. Um, so I went with the pink, the gold, the pink, the gold. And I only went the width of the boxes down here. Normally I do the entire page, but I am going to be leaving this quote down here. I like it. it says, I want daisies in my hair and peace in my soul, love in my heart. Um, so I just figured that keeping it with the boxes would just make it a little more cohesive. So we're going to go ahead and get into the day by day. I want to go ahead and mark off my cleaning schedule for Monday. I always take Monday morning to do like a nice deep cleaning and if you're new to my channel what I do is my top boxes are morning, afternoon, and evening so I'm a chronological planner. Um, so I'm going to use these check flags from Cheerful Planner Girl and I'm going to be using the pink ones and this is going to be for my deep cleaning schedule. I like to just kind of write everything down so I'd be like oh I clean the kitchen I clean the bathrooms because there's just something set I'm sure you guys can relate there's something satisfying about being able to check these off so I'm going to list each individual thing that I need to do here um, one of the things is also going to be laundry I'll look in a second I know I have some laundry stickers and I don't know if I want to go with a gold foil or a pink pastel since I've got so much pink so I'll make that decision in just a little while um, what I need to make sure I do is this is also Mini Mania Monday. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these, um, it's like a curve, the thing is really cool looking, um, half box from Pretty Cute Planner. And I'm going to stick that right here. And that is going to be for my mini videos. Okay, I normally use coffee stickers, but this week I'm going to use a bow. Um, so this is from Lil Annabelle's Plans, and they are her gold glitter option. So I'm going to be using these to mark off, and we'll stick it over here. There we go. My videos for the week instead of using coffee stickers, because then we're incorporating more gold. So I love that. Um, and then the other thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that my girls do their Valentine's for school. So this is the regular, original, classic, whatever, um, seasonal sticker book. So the very first one. And then down here, now, th there's a lot of like, I don't want to say controversy, maybe confusion is the word I'm looking for, about there not being any Valentine's stickers in this book. Because Valentine's Day is in winter, so you look in winter and you're like, there's no Valentine's, and you're right. 
but the Valentine's is actually in the spring section. So you can see it says spring bucket list. So any of the Valentine's stickers that you're looking for in this sticker book, you have to go to spring. Um, so down here it says make a handmade Valentine. And I mean, like the kids, they bought store-bought Valentine's. My oldest got some sort of a puppy. I don't know. It's supposed to be like the cutest puppy in the world. I, I really don't know. Um, and then my younger daughter got um, My Little Pony. So it's not handmade Valentine's, but I want to make sure that I use this sticker. So it's just going to oh, go down very crooked. Let me see. All right, I salvaged it. Um, so even though we're not making homemade, handmade Valentines, I still want to use this sticker because I don't want to be like a total, I don't want to say hoarding, but I don't want to save it because this is the second year in a row now that I have not used it. So that should be everything that I need. And I think, I think I will go with gold, but I'm not going to look for it right now. Whenever I open up that uh, photo album, I will grab it out. So Moo being on now I want to make sure that I lay down some um oh my gosh my Instagram posts so over here is the color coordinating sticker book and one of the things that each of the pages has is um some bullets so I'm going to use the ones that have gold foiling from this page as well as this page and that is what I'm going to use to mark off my Instagrams. All right, so I did make a decision for the, because um, I remember I said that I needed to do laundry over here. Well, I also have Towel Tuesday that I need to mark down. And I think I am going to go with the gold foil because why not? It's a holiday week. So this is from Rose Colored Days, and I'm going to be using a washer machine sticker and I'm going to stick it so that it's like basically straddling the line between Monday and Tuesday. So I'll do laundry for the very first thing on this side and then I'll have this over here for Towel Tuesday so that I have the best of both worlds with one sticker. Now moving on to Wednesday, we have another Instagram post that I need to mark down. So we have the little bullet icon. So we have the quote of the week, Washi Wednesday. And then we have some of my regular events that I need to put down. So Wednesday mornings, typically, if we don't get snowed in, <laughs> um, my son and I go to the library. And I say that because this past week we got a snow day and I couldn't get, and it was actually like an ice day. And then the week before was also snow, or two weeks before was a snow day. So I'm using my peanut butter taco library trip sticker and I have finished the sheet, which is really exciting to actually finish a sheet of stickers. Like, wow, that's so cool. Um, it doesn't happen often, so I'm pretty excited. I will have to throw that away. Um, so we have Library Washi Wednesday. Um, we also have gymnastics. And I'm going to actually make a flag for this. I think I want to use this. What I'm going to do is if you want to make a flag or a banner or whatever you want to call it, what you do is you fold your washi pretty side in on itself and then you just give it a little snip. There we go. And you have a flag, which you can't even see, but that's okay. You'll see it when I put it down on the paper. There we go. So we have a little flag and I just use an old expired, um, no longer relevant, whatever you want to call it, um, store card. And then I'm going to use one of my little gym girl stickers from Sweet Bean Plans. And I think we'll just go with this one because her color matches and all right. And I just stuck her right on the washi so that, oops, so that she's layered because I am liking that look right now. Um, it is also Valentine's Day, so. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rearrange some stuff. Let me see if I can scoop up this washi, not really. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of undo. I don't know if it works on washi or not, so I guess we will see. And then I'm also going to move my library trip sticker. 
because I, oh, so I lost my little gym girl, so I'll have to reapply her. Um, all right, I don't know how well the washi's gonna work, and I'm not even sure I want to use that anymore, actually. All right, we will just put her down over here, and then, so I used Undo, and if you're familiar with my channel, I use it quite a bit. You put some of the drops on, and then you're able to use this. It comes with it. You scoop your sticker up, and it does not ruin any pen that you might have on the back side, so, which is really awesome. And your stickers maintain their adhesiveness. I um, felt like the washi did too, but I don't want to use the washi down here because pink on pink. I used pink here because it was gold. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do it this way. And I put her over here because I have a full box sticker that I can put over here. Um, what I'm going to do is I have these gold foil stickers from Rose Colored Days. Normally I use a half box, but hold on. Okay, I had a half box from another shop, but the color wasn't quite right. Um, so anyway, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to just put down the Valentine sticker as is and maybe get some deco, some hearts or something from my sticker books to make it pretty. Okay, so originally I put it up here. I didn't push it down so I didn't have to worry about using undo. Um, and it fit on that washi, but then after moving all these stickers around and yeah, I just didn't want to have to worry about that. So we're going to leave it up here. We're going to have the two events over here. And then down here, down here we have oh, our family movie night. So I'm going to use one of these stickers from Lil Annabelle's Plans pastel colored popcorn. And I'm trying to decide which shade of pink I'm liking better. And I actually think I'm going to go with this one. And this one actually says movie night. Some of them are just the popcorn. But we're going to go with the one that actually says movie night. Uh, we do a family movie night every week. And we alternate who gets to pick. This way no one can argue and everybody is basically happy. So we've got our movie night sticker. It's also trash night, so I have my little, um, nope, this is not little Annabelle's plans. Oh my gosh. Um, cheerful planner girl. So, oh, by the way, Lily Ann Bell's plan shop is open. So you can go and get these. She's on Etsy and I'll link her actual shop below. I had been linking her Facebook group. So now I have her shop that I can link. Um, but anyway, these trash can stickers are from cheerful planner girl. So we're going to put that down. And then the other thing, um, I don't have any decorative boxes yet, so we're going to come over here to, this is, a lot of people call it the color coordinating sticker book, I think that's what it's actually listed as on the Mambi site, you can call it 1050 because that's how many stickers are in here. Um, I use the, use this book to get the bullets out of. So I'm going to use, let's see, I think we will go with, oh my gosh, I can't, there we go, this full box because I I did like a super functional I think it was this last week yeah uh, where I didn't use any of these pretty decorative boxes and it came out like the colors came out really cute and everything like that but I just kind of missed having prettiness so we're just gonna peel that edge of the bow up so I can slide this underneath one of the reasons why I picked the washi that I picked is because of this sticker. I knew it was pink, so it was the right colors. It had florals. There we go. So we're going to put that there. This way I have something, and I've got this down here too. So I've got my decorative full boxes, and now we can move on to Thursday. So Thursday, I do have another Instagram post. I lost my book. All right, so I do a before and after the pen spread for the first half of the week on Thursdays. So I also have more laundry that I need to do. 
So we're back to that Rose Colored Days Gold Foil Cleaning Icons sheet, and we're going to use just the laundry basket this time, and I'll stick it over here. I have two different things that I am going to need to be cleaning that day, or washing. Now I do have a bill that I need to pay, so I'm going to use this remember sticker and I know that it's meant oh no it's not meant for a header it's too skinny so yay so I'm going to offset it a little bit just so that it has it brings a little more attention to this so that's going to be for a bill that needs to get paid and then oh I also have a video that I can put up which I'm really excited about quite a bit of stuff that I need to do on this day so we're going to take this here and this is a flags appointment sticker and it's from pretty cute planner I'm going to stick it down here and then where there it is my little Annabelle's plans bows is going to go right on the flag part oh that is cute oh my gosh yes I love it so adorable Okay, so that is for a haul. I was really up in the air about what video I was going to do last week and this week because I wanted to do my January flip through and then I knew I had my Planner Boss collective orders that I needed to haul and one of them is coming from Canada and that's why I haven't um, done the video. I got the shipping notification so I wanted to wait but yeah, I'm excited. So that is what is going to be coming up on Thursday. So I have the haul. Oh, it's also payday. So I have my payday sheets from Lil Annabelle's plans. And looks like there's three sizes. No, those are the same size. Okay, so there's the larger ones and the smaller ones. So I don't know which one I want to do. Normally I put it up top, but I think I might put it in the middle. What else do I have to do? Oh, I have to check the soccer page. So I will check the soccer page here. Here, so that'll be two things that I have to remember. And then we will stick this. <laughs> so I really want to use that whole flag concept. So I am going to be doing it this way. So we'll stick that right on the washi itself. And we have the flag and, oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, so I have the two things that I need to remember. So I might as well use two different bullets because, like, why not? Okay, so the soccer tryouts, I just kind of want to check it out for my daughter in case it's something that she is interested in doing. So I want to make sure that I have that in here because it should be open on this day. Now, moving on, Friday, I have an Instagram post. And then I don't know if my kids are going to have school or not because of the snow day that we just had. So I'm going to use this pencil from Zoe K Creations. This way I can either mark down that they do or they don't because either way I need to make sure that I know what is going on. So we'll just stick that there. And then because that's going to wrap up Friday, I'm going to take a full box and put it down. All right, so that's just kind of, yes, I like it. Um, all right, so we've got that down now, and I still have an extra like free box down here in case I want to put anything or anything comes up. Um, Saturday, oh, weekend banner. There is one on the um, sheet that I'm using from the color coordinating sticker book, but I'm actually going to just go ahead and use a gold foiled weekend banner from Rose Colored Days because I just love gold foiling and any excuse to use it. Am I right? Alright, so that weekend banner was part of the reason why I went with the pink up here instead of the gold, so this way it wasn't going to be gold on gold. Oh my gosh. Oh, yay! I love it. Now, I have a hair appointment on Saturday, so I'm going to use this little Don't Forget flag. 
and I'll stick it a little bit this way it's not right on top of my weekend banner and we'll stick it right here and then I'll be able to fill in my info here oh and then I do want to get up my plan with me so I'm going to go back to this um the curved half boxes from pretty cute planner so we will stick that down here with my bow to mark off that it's a video I just like every week being able to look for something that's like pretty like happening multiple times I like to use the same thing to notate it just because it makes it easier to just kind of recognize what it is so I may be doing something a little bit different from week to week um, so like I said, typically I use my coffee stickers, but seeing three gold bows, I know that those are my videos. I have these bullets that are going to be for my Instagrams and they're all in the same box because I try to get it up in the mornings. But I mean, sometimes it's a little bit later in the day and that's okay. So the other thing is that, oh, that's right. We were going to attempt, well, maybe it'll end up being lunch um that's why we're not out too late but it's I mean it's Valentine's week and we are probably going to be doing some sort of dinner on Saturday all right so a couple of things I have this sheet from planning world so it is gold foil it is the rose colored sheet and trying to think which is going to complement everything best it's four different shades so these are two different colors I don't know if it's actually picking that up on the camera um so I just want to figure out which one is going to work out best all right we're going to go with the I was going to go with this one. we're going to go with this one so Friday I need to make a bank run so we will use that sticker for that and then we let's see for the dinner I think what I will end up using is just the heart not dinner but like whatever the food we will use that and then I think I thought that there was something else that I needed to mark down and now I don't remember awesome okay well I guess I'll just put this away and pull it out when I remember all right, the other thing that I need to mark down is a soccer game on Sunday, and it is in the afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and use this kind of like a third size box, it's really to kind of give you an idea of what size it is. So we're going to use this right here because it's an early afternoon game. And we're going to use one of these little Annabelle's plans, Rosie or soccer Rosies to mark it off and I'm going to stick her just like how I did the bow down here for my haul I'm going to stick her right across the flag there we go uh so the, oh that came out really cute actually I like that all right we're going to do the sidebar next I have one more full box it's all hearts that I'm considering putting down here but I kind of like that I had the full box is here so I don't know if I'm going to do that or not so when I get a little indecisive I come over to my sidebar because that's usually pretty easy to um, just to work with actually I was just going to pull out the stickers that I need for my sidebar and I realized that I have one checklist over here and nowhere else on my spread so I kind of feel a little like I don't know like I need more checklists and I don't usually use a whole lot of checklists but I'm just gonna go ahead and put some down just because yeah okay I actually do feel a little bit better now um so that's that's done now I can actually move on to my sidebar all right so I always put my meal planning stickers over in the sidebar so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by putting down this washi and I'm going to just kind of leave it a little bit long 
because what I'm going to end up doing is putting down this. So this meal planning sticker this week is from Cheerful Planner Girl. And let's turn this on its side because sometimes that just makes life easier. We're going to line it up with the dots and just make sure that it is covering that watercolor swatch. Now, normally I use my thingy, but what I'm going to do this week, I want to make sure I get an exact line. So this is my Fiskars style exacto knife. So I'm going to oh, get all tangled. There we go. So I'm going to use my store card to line up the washi or to line this up and then I'm going to use it as a ruler. There, so now we have a nice, perfect line. All right, and then I'm not terribly worried about doing another strip here. I am going to use two habit trackers this week and I am going to put a little sliver of white space in between the meal planning and the habit trackers. All right, and then I've got a couple of lines right here in case I want to write anything else down. And then that's it for me. I am really excited about this. I love all the gold foiling and the pink, and I'm gonna give you just a little wiggle so you can see and appreciate that foil. Um, so I will get this all filled in. Follow me on Instagram at Coffee Planner Mom so that you can check out all of the posts that I have been talking about. Um, if you like this video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my videos coming up this week. So as you can see, there's three. Um, and then I will, I'll see you guys later.